Single mother proves why dating them isn't for everyone. You'd need balls of steel to stay with her after this. How can I, a 26-year-old woman, show my husband, who's 25, I appreciate him after I said that I never would have given him a chance if I didn't have a kid and now he's feeling insecure? Damn! Damn. Oh, damn. No matter how strong of a man you are, that would make many men feel insecure. Should have never looked twice at you, in other words. Nope. Okay. Okay. I overheard my husband giving his friend Rob, not his real name, relationship advice. I told Rob my husband is not the person you want to go to for relationship advice. My husband said it helped get someone like you and kissed me on the cheek. I told him I was a broke single mom with a kid. I wouldn't have even looked at you if I didn't have Bunny, my son's nickname, or even some money. Damn. He asked if I was serious, and I said yes, and he walked away. I didn't think nothing of it, but he's been distant lately, not giving me compliments like he normally does. I wouldn't have even looked at you if I didn't have Bunny. I asked him if he's upset about what I said, and he said, kinda. He said he will get over it, but he wishes he never knew. How can I show that I appreciate him? I'm thinking of asking my parents if they can watch Bunny and taking my husband on a weekend trip. Uh, uh, so that's all that that, that one is. Um, that's... Wow. Talk about a left hook that was completely unnecessary. Left hook to the n And back to the beginning. How can I, a 26-year-old woman, show my husband, who's 25, I appreciate him after I said that I never would have given him a chance if I didn't have a kid and now he's feeling insecure? You blew it up! It's over, woman. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. For many men, it's done. I mean, like, damn, if a woman ever says to you, I wouldn't have even looked at you if I didn't have Bunny, my son's nickname. You're wicked! She's only with you because she's got a kid. In other words, she wouldn't look at you if she wasn't broke. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Now, that's interesting. Some women sell themselves on being single mothers. So it's a sense of, wait a second, you're going to insult me for what you sold me for, what you sold me on originally. It's a package deal. What? Now, this is not the case for obviously every, you know, single mother dating every random dude, every sucker, <laughs> random dude. But the point still stands. She may have never looked at him, paid him any attention, probably thought it was a bit of a crappy dude. Until when? Until when? Until she was desperate. Until... No, it's... It's too much. She was desperate. Now, guaranteed 100%, we don't know how these people look, but I guarantee you, the stepdad, the new guy, looks nothing like the baby father, or his personality is nothing like the baby father is. Completely different men. Which makes you always have to ask as a man, you know, to be careful as a man. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Would the single mother date you if she weren't a single mother? Yeah. Nope. That's a question many men dating single mothers should ask. That's fucking ridiculous. Themselves and her. Would you date me if you weren't a single mother? Oh, that's not funny. That's not funny. Yes. Okay. Okay. I overheard my husband giving his friend Rob, not his real name, relationship advice. I told Rob my husband is not the person you want to go to for relationship advice. My husband said... It helped get someone like you and kissed me on the cheek. Bruh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh, poor dude. Poor dude. And if you've ever seen this in person, when you see a dude who's just infatuated with a woman who you know for a fact, she's desperate. Like, yo, yo, bro. Ah, she's desperate. But he's so caught up. He's so... I love her so much, I don't care. Happy and joyous. Which is a good thing. I'm not saying a man shouldn't be happy. But his joy and happiness comes from the fact of this woman buttering him up. To make him think that his presence is because... You're my soulmate. She likes him for him and not because she's desperate. And he's eager. How much I don't care. And it's so sad when a stepdaddy tries to act as if that's game. He tries to act to you as if that's game. Oh, look at my game. My game is so immaculate. Really, bro, really. If your game was immaculate, you'd be the daddy, not the stepdaddy. Damn. I told him, I was a broke single mom with a kid. I wouldn't have even looked at you if I didn't have Bunny, my son's nickname, or even some money. Damn, I mean, that's, I mean, that's how it burns even more, isn't it? I mean, that's how it burns even more. You have to think and question, what would she have thought about this man before? she were in that situation of being a single mother with her child bunny yeah like what would she have thought about him before that would be an interesting you know situation you know fly on the wall in the past alternate dimension like what would she have thought about him because the reality is she really thinks that way about him now the only difference is she doesn't have the option she had before
before so she can afford to settle now. I don't care. Damn, poor guy. He asked if I was serious and I said yes and he walked away. I didn't think nothing of it, but he's been distant lately, not giving me compliments like he normally does. Can you blame him? I mean, can you blame him? This man's distraught. You told him that, yo, there's nothing about you alike apart from the fact of you may have some money and you give me attention. Because if it weren't for this kid, bro, you'd be nothing to me. Nothing! Some dusty to me. She could possibly date a richer man if she were younger and childless. Just saying. I'm just saying. I asked him if he's upset about what I said and he said, kinda. He <laughs> Why said, he be? will get over it. Why wouldn't he be? Yo, if he gets over it, he's good. He's a better man than me. The f am I getting over that? The f am I getting over that? Like, now, nah, woman, I'm done. To this day! I'm done. You and your kid, yeah, you and your kid can go disappear. There's the door, bitch! Actually, furthermore, I'll disappear. I'll ghost woman. Ghost you and your bastard kid. The kid you would have never had with me. And the only reason you're with me is because you have this kid. Like, now, nah, woman. Nah. Man's not lining up for no sleepy hollow woman. What? No oh, sleepy hollow. Obviously, she's had a child, therefore. You know, you're sleeping with a sleepy hollow. What? I, I, it doesn't work. I don't give a damn. Just now, nah, man, I'm good. But he wishes he never knew. How can yeah. I show that I appreciate him? I'm thinking Run. of asking my parents if they can watch Bunny and taking my husband on a weekend trip. Uh, uh, so that's all that that, that one is. Um, that's... Wow. That's effed up. That is effed up. And you can think as a man, no matter how much as a man you may want to think you're going to be the savior to a woman and her child because no other men will step up. Understand, you stepping up is good for her. But does the woman you're stepping up for even respect you? Does she respect you? Talk about a left hook that was completely unnecessary. Left hook to the n I'm going to tell you all the red flags of dating as a single mum. And I'm going to tell you the red flags of dating a single mum. Oh, let's go. Red flags. These are the boys you want to avoid. Keyword there, boys. Keyword there, boys. And translation, real men step up because women use real men, the real men title, to make men do ridiculous things to step up to a plate that, you know, some other dude had already eaten off. Number one, over the age of 25 and still lives at home. No direct debits. Ask to borrow money till payday. The love bombing. I'm going to skip past all that bummy stuff. If you're a dude that doesn't want to do anything, that's your choice. If you're a woman that dates bummy dudes, that's your choice as well. Like, no one cares. They don't fucking give a shit. Trash likes trash, so whatever. The love bombing. Love bombing works because a lot of women are very, you know... Lonely, desperate women. Lonely, desperate women. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't say lonely, desperate women. Susceptible. Susceptible. Maybe saying it properly. Susceptible. Lonely, desperate women. To being love bombed. To having, you know, what they see as genuine affection. You could be lying, but I mean, if you can fake the funk, love bomb the funk out of her, then hey, Bob's your uncle. I don't even know where that saying comes from, but whatever. The lies. And you might think, Bonnie, that one's self explanatory, but remember the things he says. As soon as they start putting out all them red flags, I just said, start remembering the things he says, because I'm pretty sure you're going to clock onto a few lies. Because unfortunately, as a single mother, some of these. Yeah, some of these bum boys will see single mums and just see a tenancy. No one loves you or you better than a man that needs a home. Okay, so she's talking about hobosexuals, dudes that seek out single mothers looking for a place to live because obviously they'd know as a single mom, she's probably got a house. So she's talking about hobosexuals. If you're not a hobosexual, you have no idea what she's talking about. The self-doubt, they're making you doubt yourself. Trying to make you insecure. Talking about other girls in front of you. Liking other girls' Instagram pictures in front of you. Just running through TikTok and going, oh, she's fit. When they doubt your goals. When they remember your past. because You know, that's a good point as well. I'm going to add to it. Imagine single mothers who have dated a string of homosexuals. A string of men that they have moved into their house with their kids. I mean, that's... That's horrible in itself, isn't it? That shows you that woman has no character or reading of men. It's like, it's like my God, woman. Us single mums, like, we're a single mum for a reason. We had to leave a relationship. Whether that really leaving that relationship is amicable or not, it's a little bit traumatic. But throwing that in your face, like, oh, well, you know, like, well, your ex left you with kids, or, oh, your ex used to be horrible to you, or your ex used to be your... Why are you throwing my past in my face? You didn't live there. Well, if a man wants a future with you, knowing your past would make sense. If you want to hide it, that's sort of effed up if he wants to have a future with you. If you're just another chick, a random chick, like, no one cares, to be honest, and you have no need to share that information with anyone. However, if he plans a future with you, yeah, he should know a bit about your past at least. A bit at least. Single mums, we are not weak, okay? You've already left the father of your children, or he's left you. You've dealt with that. 
Do not let another man take your title as a weakness. You're not a weak female. You do not need a man. Do not let a man try to break you down to think you need him. You don't need anyone but yourself. Just remember, you've been raising them babies by yourself, either co-parenting and you're raising them by yourself a few, day few days a week. You know, this is not a roast against single mothers. You know, single mothers have to put up with a lot. But my point is, as a man dating a single mother, yeah, yeah that's a red flag for you. A single mother is not a red flag. If you get a date one as a man, yeah, yeah, be cautious. <laughs> be fucking cautious. Because you'll always be the one doing more. You'll always be the one doing more. By herself, a single mother, that's a strong woman doing what she's got to do. But to date her... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 we don't have to do that. Not me personally, we don't have to do that. And having to deal with shit from your ex or deal with a nice co-parent relationship, whatever you're going through, you've done that by yourself. You don't need a man. Just remember that. And just remember as a man, if you're happy being a second option, then be content in being that second option. But just know you'll never have the respect of the first option. Have a nice day. I wouldn't have even looked at you if I didn't have 